Morton, yuck, what are you doing back there? That's disgusting. That's not how I wanted to start today's video. Oh, Morton, no. On the table today, at Squirrel Stampede, have you caught up with your LEGO Super Mario Koopalings yet? We're finally catching up with Morton and Larry. Oh, Larry, that's disgusting. What are you doing? That is supposed to be a timer to help me realize how long I've been time lapsing. Yuck, that, you're not supposed to stand on that. That just looks wrong. Anyway, we're catching up with our Koopaling collection. Have you caught all the Koopalings yet? I think most are out now. I know we probably got Larry again earlier, and then we saw Wendy recently in an expansion pack. Have you found Wendy yet? And then, of course, Iggy and Lemmy have been out. I always get Iggy and Lemmy mixed up. I get a lot of these mixed up. Ludwig was terrific. We saw Ludwig before. I think we pretty much caught up on all Koopalings except for Roy, maybe. Roy, right? Roy and Morton kind of look similar. But we've got the Larry and Morton's airship today. Airships are some of the best builds. In fact, I'm asking myself, why aren't all the Koopalings associated with their own airship now? That would have been awesome to have a Wendy airship or an Iggy airship, but I'm, I'm, going, I'm going just on and on. But we've got lots of great builds today to take a look at, at these awesome airship builds of Morton and Larry joining into our Koopaling collection. So follow along as we construct some new airships to join Bowser's fleet, and we'll have lots of interesting things to talk- Oh no! No, no, Wendy, not you two. Gross. Gross, Wendy. Let's just roll the review. Squirrel, Squirrel Stampede! stampede. <laughs> and so there, Lego Super Mario set number 71427, Larry's and Morton's airships, 1062 pieces, an expansion set to your Super Mario Lego courses. It's really, though, all about Morton's airship, though. I love the airship designs with this series. One of the few really cool displayable things with the LEGO Super Mario sets were the ships. Really odd they included Larry, though, as we have not seen Roy. And I don't know if we will see Roy in time. Will we ever see Roy? I don't know. On the back of the box, like you would expect, the ship does fold out for some expansion world play. Gotta say, though, I'll probably just keep this in ship mode next to the King Koopa ship. Next to Bowser's ship. Inside the box, one crinkled guide of helpful set information, plus others available. We went through Donkey Kong, it was fun. We went through Bone Bowser Castle, it was fun. And we're pretty much rolling to the end of the expansion pack series. Bag one. What does this do, by the way? Bag two. Bag three. Bag four. How about a five? Then about maybe a six. Then we look for seven, eight, and nine. Nine bags with this build. Oh wait, wait, one more. Ten. Ten bags with this build. The ten was hooked up over on a box somewhere. So yeah, ten bags. They usually typically move pretty quickly with the Mario builds. A little less pieces per setup. Let's find bag one, nine, ten, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and a one. And I think we're gonna start right off with a Larry build. A Larry Larry build. We've built Larry before though, we've built Larry before, so I think I'm just gonna skip out and say, hey, guess what? Meet Larry. There's Larry from a previous series. Can't remember, probably one of the course expansion packs that were pretty solid. Why they chose Larry again, really odd to me. I think this set would have been super fun had they had both brothers, Roy and Nelson, involved. Nelson? Who's Nelson? Roy and Morton. Good looking figure though, it's a fun figure to build. A little star on the side of the head to help you out. Remember where he's from. I believe the first level of Super Mario Brothers 3 was where he debuted. Okay, did this steal the show? Did this steal the show? Is that more interesting? It's kind of interesting. What is it doing? Wow. It's like the liquid. The liquid the ships float over. Okay, we'll slide this to the back and we will look for... Who will we look for? We are looking for bag two. Bag two of pieces. There we go. I think bag two. We'll probably start working on Larry's ship. Funny, I wanted to do Morton's ship first. Or is it Roy? Why do I get Roy and Morton mixed up? If I recall, they're both very beefy turtles who kind of shake the ground when they jump. All right, other pieces in here. Landry, are you all right over there? Get back up there, Landry. What's happened to you? And... Pieces. A plenty. So let's begin the construction of Larry's ship and we can see what Larry is going to ride in.
Okay, this little ship is amazing. Why did they not do this with every Koopaling? It is so cool. We've got Lemmy's ship. What? Look at this from all around. We've got an anchor that rips out, sinks, and pulls back in via the mass propeller. That's fun. Works really well and flawlessly. And pipe guns on either side. Nice little Lemmy blue shell. Lemmy face there with a star and our Lemmy figure. What? Have I been calling him Lemmy when he's Larry? Why do I always do that? Anyway, so Larry. Larry is here. Larry sits back and rides. I just think this is the funnest idea. I so wish we saw this with Wendy now. I so wish we saw this with Ludwig. I so wish we saw this with Iggy. It's got just such a great, great funness to it. So... Yeah, a little bit late to the party, but this little boat build is cool. It's gonna look great next to Bowser's airship. I guess we're just gonna have to custom up some other Koopaling ships if someone has not already done that, so definitely a fun little build here to start off. It's just, it's a perfect little size, too. And I think Morton's, or is it Roy? Morton's airship is probably gonna be like twice as big. So we'll continue on and see what Morton's gonna be about. I think before we get to Morton, though, I think we've got our first pirate Goomba. Have I built a pirate Goomba before? Maybe, maybe on Bowser's ship. So let's construct up a little pirate Koopa really quick. So we constructed our pirate Goomba, and then we just went right on to Morton because the Goomba was so quickly to construct. Goomba cute. I think we did build one with a pirate hat before with Bowser's airship. I'll have to check into that again and just pop the hat back down. It pops right off as Mario would crush it and then get the barcode underneath. So a fun little minifigure extra to the series, but obviously the prize jewel of this set is Morton. Morton is here. Everyone give Morton a round. There he is, black shell on the back there. Little spiky Wolverine hair going on. Red wand with some excellent eyelashes. Who would have thought Morton would have such great eye care with a great star over one eye and just fluffy, fleshy eyelashes going on. Ball jointed shoulders to move those arms up and down. Pretty massive, one of the larger of the Koopalings here. Even larger than Roy, I would say. Yeah, Roy's what? got a little bit of a narrow frame here with uh, Morton's arms are huge. Morton and Roy were always pretty big, I think, uh, going back. So now we just need to see a Roy so badly. Uh, but fun to see a Roy here, nice and solid. His ship is gonna be huge. If he's this large of a character, that ship is gonna be great. Here's all our Koopas now together. We've got a good set of Koopa. Koopaling hanging out. Of course, Larry back here. Larry is back here. So there's the series of what we have so far. I like the contrast that Morton brings to this group. Just giant, darker, menacing teeth, very sharp. He has a just kind of a ferocious face. So he's good inclusion to the group. And now we gotta work on his ship. We gotta find the pieces to his ship. Let's drop back Lemmy into his ship. That would be Larry. We're now on to bag six of pieces. Oh, and not to forget, Morton has a hammer too. Nice little hammer weapon. Morton, previously a hammer brother in another life. Bag six. And we can continue the build of these excellent, really so animated airships.
And constructed we have Morton's airship. A little bit larger than what Larry has. Morton is the larger brother, right? So he gets the larger ship. A little more interesting features with this one too as it is going to open up. But outside looking good. The face front sculpts of each Koopa looking great. Just a larger version of the Koopaling we just had built, which was kind of a fun thing for both sets. Morton's got the double cannons though coming from the side of his ship. That's a nice feature. I like those double cannons. Just the cannons in general. Cool with the flaps open, ready to fire. A nice little potted plant yellow piece. The side back here with the lanterns up here at the cabin of the boat really tricky to place on. In fact, I don't even know if I've got them clipped on correctly. As you try to push in, the thing starts to break apart. Probably one of the weakest things I've ever built from a Lego build. Propeller on the back there, spinning around this side again was tough to place on. A tall mast with this one. What is the height, by the way? What do we get for Morton's ship in height? It's about nine inches, whereas Larry's is about seven. Morton goes about eight inches deep. Eh, seven and a half to eight inches deep. Larry goes in at about six inches. So Morton for sure, the larger vehicle and a lot of fun looking at it inside. So let's pop off Morton to get in there and we will go in through the back. I forgot which way, how do we get into this ship here? Some way there is a way to get in. Oh, see, I didn't have it clipped on. Fixing time. So again there, there's that clipping system inside. I feel like this is the worst designed feature I've ever seen. This red little beam here is supposed to click in. It's gotta be lined up just right. And if you don't hit it just right, uh, things start to crumble on this sidewall. And I have just the worst time with it. So probably one of the worst things I've ever seen designed by Lego. Weird, it's very rare. So anyhow, let's get inside the ship here. I think we have to split apart his brains to get inside the boat. Uh, there we go, he, he's fighting me. Maybe I have to take off the, uh, that's right, I have to take off the turtle shell first. Then it opens up. Okay, now we're into the world of Morton's ship. Uh, something's odd over here too. What's odd over here? This isn't completely locking. There we go. The flap was down a little bit. So then we can take our Koopa guy and place this over here. And this is kind of the setup for attack. And I'm, I'm so rarely, rarely gonna set it up this way. Same thing with Bowser's ship, same thing with Larry's ship. I just like the displayability of the ships by themselves. And so Morton is going to rest up here on this seat and once you get him stabilized in position, you can have your pirate Goomba come over and protect him right up at front. Then Mario, Mario finally stops by. Where have you been today, Mario? Mario will first take out the Goomba. If you get that hat just right, it flies off and we can step on and defeat the Goomba. Then we're gonna take Mario over here. He's going to stand uh, on this little platform right here uh, below Morton and tricking Morton into believing he is now on Morton's side, but he is not. He's going to pull back and this back section is going to, look at that. If you do that hard enough, Morton's going to fall out the back side and now be defeated for Mario to come in and give him the 50, how many hits? That's three, four, five, six hits or so for coins. But that's kind of something I'll probably rarely do with this set. I think it's all about the displayability. Pop off this uh, little yellow feature here. Let's smash back down the ship together, lifting up this back wall here and putting back our turtle shell up on top to kind of, kind of squeeze it and hold it together. This turtle shell is what's, what kind of holds the boat together and we can place Morton up top here again. So overall, a very worthy build for Morton. Again, I wish they did this for all the Koopas now. If every Koopaling set came with a themed boat, how cool would have that been? I would have liked to have seen a different boat for everybody. As for other Mario gameplay features with these, Mario can knock off Morton in airplay. Ah, uh, he just sent them on the uh, jet stream or something and place Mario back here. And you can float around getting coins here and there. And you can even link him with, say, Peach or Luigi, have Peach or Luigi on the other boat, link them together and get coins and hearts together. So that's kind of a feature too. I'll just kind of leave it there on that. It's on the little demo on the game, on the app, I should say. But yeah, overall, I've enjoyed building both of these ships. They're quite elaborate and silly and they're fun to add in. Let's check out Bowser real quick. 
And so the ground doth thus shake. Things are happening here. What is going on? Mario's a tired. And here we go. Here's the main Koopa ship. Bowser's airship for scale. Mario back there sleeping on me. You can see the total scale of these three together now. Uh, about the half the size with Morton or maybe just maybe a quarter the size even. These have been my favorites of the expansion core sets. <laughs> Kamex hat. Kamex hat there. Oh, there was a pirate Goomba. I thought we had seen a pirate Goomba before. Maybe the different face threw me. They've got different face pieces. But these are certainly my favorite to display. They're easier. You can tuck them in on a shelf somewhere. The castles may be grand scale and elaborate, but they kind of fill up a lot of shelf spaces. They have a lot of surface area. So the ships are the best for display. Plus you have plenty of decking to place other characters on top. And I think if you're also a pirate themed shipbuilding fan, this, <laughs> these three ships will do you in. And there we go with Larry and Morton's airships, Lego Super Mario. What do you think? I enjoyed the builds. Always like to add into Bowser's air fleet. If you liked today's video, please give us a squike, squirrel eye, squamit, your favorite feature of the current Lego Super Mario expansion courses. Maybe will we see Roy next year, 2024? Not sure, as I believe the expansion courses are starting to wind down, maybe. Anyhow, thanks for watching today. Don't forget we now have some merch out there, like a plush Landry, some t-shirts, and a water bottle. Thanks again for watching. That's what I have to say about that.